Hey mom, good morning. Hey Deuce. I want to show you what we have going on here in our paradise. Oh, you tell them. Yeah, you tell them. I know your health isn't, isn't where it needs to be to get down here and see this beautiful place. So I am going to do what I can to bring it to you. Yeah, you just keep yelling. Thank you. You're quiet all the time until I do a video and then you got to yell. Okay. So anyway, the bananas over here. Trying to make our cesspit septic tank septic pool cesspool area a little bit better. Hey Deuce, you know I'm doing a video, pal. Can you not bark and yell and scream? This is our new guardian rodent control officer. That would be Sheldon. About six months old, something like that. And do still he still has problems with cats. Alright, over here we have cranberry hibiscus. We got papaya growing. Guava. Some mystery melon. A mango that due to my ignorance froze last March after a beautiful calm February. So I'm not sure what that is going to be. If it's going to be a mango, it looks like one. But that is coming up from the rootstock. It was grafted. So I'm not sure what it's really going to be. Okay, buddy. Okay. I, again, you, you, until I do a video. The volume that comes out of this small dog. All right. These are supposed to go to the compost, but obviously, if I want to silence him and do the video. Of course, Ferris, the mature one in the household, looks at Deuce with astonishment about 24-7. Okay. Got tomatoes growing here. These are the cherry tomato types. One of the only ones that do fairly well in Florida. Got ivy gourd growing here. Malabar spinach. This is a mango seedling from seed that grew out of the compost, so we're going to see what that does. Avocado, that also due to my ignorance, was left largely unprotected during the freeze of March. We got to, to a couple of 27 degree days and it died back, but it's... It's trying to do its thing, so I'll, I'll learn. I'll get better. This, as I recall, is a Persian lime. More perennial ivy gourd, which is a fruit, as I understand it, that can be consumed early, and it also can be consumed late. Two ways to eat it. I'm going to do more research before I poison everybody I know. All right. Persimmon. More mystery melon. Now I'm going to take you in to... Our food for us. All right. If you hear me blowing, I'm not blowing kisses at you. <laughs> Trying to blow the mosquitoes off my hand. But, uh, one of the challenges to Florida living is the mosquitoes think that every horizontal surface is a runway. So what we did here. Realizing this was all grass, as you see over here, 
Our entire back area here was grass, which was great for playing soccer, throwing a frisbee, etc. But we wanted to try to get this back to a more natural environment where there was a good balance of insects, wildlife, prey, predators, get this place teeming with life, get it more natural, and then bring in either native species that can grow well and produce fruit, such as marlberry. Uh, I believe this is an Anna apple that's struggling a little bit. It's supposed to produce well in this area. Still learning as it is a process. Next to the next to the zinnia here is a guava. Oh, I'm sorry, is that a guava? No, that's a Siberian cherry that died back in the freeze as well. Whereas the other one we have did very, very, very well. It handled the freeze just fine. I believe it was um, I believe it was a more mature tree, a little by a few months, so. Mosquitoes, go. Please stop. I can't spray any more stuff on me. Uh, mosquitoes, please. Ouch. Stop. Stop! Alright, they're wanting me to quit the video, evidently. I, I can't spray any more stuff. What, maybe I should use Brute by Fabergé? Would that get you guys off my ass? Oh, it's, okay, I gotta end this video. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Anyway, all right, where were we? Got blackberries throughout here. That is a native Simpson stopper. Trying to keep the forest from taking over it. That was planted about eight months ago. And that is, the rumor is Simpson stopper. It was called that because it was supposed to be good for stomach ailments. A diarrhea stopper, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know if that's true, but that's the word on the path. All right. Mosquitoes, please stop. Uh, that is a Florida home pear, which is doing well. Chicken coop still under construction. That is another guava that's doing very well. Scarlet plum. We got a couple off that last year as a young tree. I was wasn't wasn't pushing fruit production. I believe this is a silver thorn. I've got everything written down somewhere, but it's not permanently blazoned in my head. This peach produced around 25 peaches last year. People tell me peaches don't do well here. Uh, okay. First year, 25. Now maybe it'll have a sophomore slump, but it did pretty well. Uh, I'm only going over a few of the trees we have. That is another guava. Different variety of guava. I think those fruit are a little bit smaller than the one we just looked at. And here's our Siberian cherry that did real, real well and handled the freeze. Anyway, that's the deal. That's the deal. So what we're planting, we are planting natives when we can, things that work well. That's a... Uh, Satsuma citrus orange. It's supposed to do well, very well in this uh, climate as well as any. But we plant native varieties that do well here in this area, of course. Suitable for climate. We've got nectarines, peaches, apples, pears designed for this area in Florida. 
8, 10, 12 citrus. We have figs, loquat. Of course, we have the native um, Simpson stopper. Walters Felbutrin or Wellbutrin or Tylenol. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. Walter something. And anyway, all these bushes are designed to give us food. These bushes and trees are designed to give us food to provide good habitat for animals, to keep a balance of insects, prey, etc., birds, to attract pollinators, to provide food for animals. We want this place teeming with life. We want it teeming with life. We want it beautiful. We want it to be as uh, close to nature as possible. We try to mimic nature in our plantings and what we do. That fig produced a few figs last year. Anyway, not my best video, but uh, Mom, I wanted you to see this. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> Next time, maybe I had to wake up before I do this, but... Uh, whoa! Thank you, big bug in my face. Love you, Mom.